Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I am testing out some HMB cosmetics. So if you don't know, this is Holly Boone's makeup brand. I have been wanting to try out her stuff for the longest time, but I was kind of holding out until she had like a few more bits. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, cause I'm sure a lot of you already do follow Holly. If you don't, I will put a link down below, but she recently launched her first loose powder. And you guys know I am so picky when it comes to powders. Like I must've tried over hundreds of powders in my time and I could probably give you a list of like 10 that I think are like really worth the money. I've got some lashes and then I've also got a couple of lip products, got a liquid lipstick and then a lip gloss. So yeah, today I'm gonna be trying all of this stuff out, chucking it on my face, letting you guys know my thoughts. You will know the drill by now. So let's get on into it. So I think I'm actually gonna start off with my eyes today just cause obviously we don't have too many base products. So I think I will just kind of like get the eyes not over and done with, but over and done with. So this is a Dare To Be Different palette. I actually got this in the sale. Like, I think I got this for like 15 quid or something crazy. By the way, Holly, I haven't even said it yet. Congrats on your makeup brand. I know it's been out for a while, but like the, I didn't even realize you had this many products. You should be proud of yourself. So, oh my God. Okay, this is the palette. Mm, mm. Yes. I love the fact that it's got some neutrals in there as well. The pans are a good size. Let's swatch a couple of these colors. So let's try. I mean, Reef has got to be the one, like, right? Oh my God. Reef, uh, I'm probably going to put these two colors on my eyes today. Like, I'm not going to, like, why lie? I'm obviously going to be doing something with these greens. So I think I will swatch just a few colors that I maybe won't use on my face today. That looks stunning. Let's try some Babe as well. Very nice. Okay, bada bing, bada boom, da da da. Okay, they seem a little bit sheer on the hand swatch, but obviously it's a freaking hand swatch. Like, this is going on my eyes, so we'll see how it works then. Oh, deodorant, I haven't put that on today. So first of all, let's just clip my hair back. I do need to bring back the hair bands. Like, I do still have them, but because of my extensions and stuff, I've just been using these clips, but let me know if you want me to bring back the hair bands. Let me know if you want to bring out my own hair bands. I think that would be kind of great. So first of all, I'm just gonna take some of my P. Louise base and I'm just gonna slap that on my lid. Sorry if you guys can hear, I'm about to sound like such an asshole here. Sorry if you can hear the gardener, he's just doing his thing. Never did I think in my life I'd be able to sit here and go, oh, that's just the gardener, don't mind him. Okay, so base is on. Oh, what am I gonna do today? I think I'm just gonna go straight in with the yellow, which is just called. Hi. Hi. So yeah, I'm gonna take some of that just on a small kind of pencil brush and I'm just gonna plonk that in my crease. Oh, that's nice. That's actually a pretty, bright yellow. Take a bit more. Just literally just gonna plonk it in right now. I have no real plans of what I'm gonna do. I just know it's probably gonna be blues and greens because these blues and greens look too good not to use, to be honest. Okay, so that's applying really nicely, actually. So yeah, I'm just gonna fan that out, just blend it a little bit. That's actually Okay, that's actually blending out really well. Like, I've not even properly buffed it or anything yet. It's just kind of, yeah, just blended. Mmm. Okay, so then I think I'm just gonna go in with Reef. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around here, guys. Like, I just wanna slap it on my face. Okay, wow. So Reef is now just gonna go smack bang just on my eyelid. Okay, I haven't even really blended that again yet, but that's actually blended in really quite nicely. Like just the green and the yellow are blending in together really well. Okay, I need to actually start getting a little bit more precise now instead of literally just slapping it on my face. <sighs> That's such a nice color, holy shit. See, you cannot judge a freaking eyeshadow palette by the swatches. I like doing them just to kind of see what the colors look like, but hand swatches don't mean shit. Literally, look at that greeny blue shade, that is mad. So I'm just making sure that it's all filled in on my lid. Is it bad? I actually just kind of want to keep it like that. Like, not just like that. I do want to do some more blending and stuff, but I really just kind of like the green, if I'm honest. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that yellow and just blend that out there. That does look really bloody good, actually. This looks nice. It's just this green color, like this reef color that's just, just, just hits different, you know? Like, do I want to add any blue to that? Or I just kind of like it as it is, if I'm quite honest. Maybe I'll take the teeniest, tiniest little bit of the blue, because I did say I would use it. 
I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that on my inner corner because I feel like if I do prefer it without, then I can probably just blend this away again a bit. Ooh. Okay, now I'm digging this blue as well. Basically, so far so good with this palette. There's no fallout either. Like I was just, I'm feeling really lazy today. Like I am most days, but I was fully just slapping that on. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. And then as I was kind of doing my makeup, I was like, wait, this is on camera. I should probably try and make it look at least kind of nice. But this is kind of just doing it all for me. Like I, I can't really take any credit for this. It's just blending itself out. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly feather that over. I'm probably gonna sharpen that out corner anyway. So I'm not too fussed about the blending here. I say that, but do I have any wipes or anything? I've muddied it up a little bit in the corner right there, but that's just because I'm a mess. Okay, I'm just going to pull that outwards. This greeny color is so nice, oh my God. And then I'm just gonna hit the top of my brow again with that yellow, just so I don't lose it. And then get my wipe. And then we'll just swing my droopy ass eyelids. Ooh. Very impressed so far with that. Um, I might even take a little bit of this shade here called Angel. I don't normally use something this silvery, but I might take a bit of that on my brow bone. Okay, that is very intense so far. Whoa, okay. You need the tiniest amount of that. Holy shit. I'm actually gonna dust off all of that to be honest and then just blend it out. That is so intense. I might even take a bit of that in the inner corner as well. Normally I do like it when it's a bit more champagne-y, but let's just see what you got. I still might go over it with my highlight just because I do tend to prefer my inner corner to be a little bit more champagne-y, but it's popping in a corner. All right, very freaking nice. Like let's do a couple of swatches with some clean fingers off some of these neutrals. That looks like a nice little brown to go in the crease. That looks like a really nice brown. And then we've got this shade here called Soul, which is, it's got like a little, ooh, it's got glitter in it. I didn't realize. I'm actually really impressed with that. Like not that I was thinking that I wasn't gonna be impressed. Like I said, I mean, I've heard a lot, but I haven't really heard too many people talk about this palette because I think it was one of her first products. But yeah, impressed by that. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I am just using my fave, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Still got a little bit of my lash lift hanging on there. So I'm just gonna coat that. I actually haven't worn makeup in a really long time. Like proper makeup, like cake. Today I'm going full cake, I'm going full Victoria sponge. I don't even care. So then I'll move on to lashes. So this is what the lashes look like. I have them in the style, dead bitch. Most of them were actually sold out. There was one, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a little bit more kind of like, the more wispy that was up my street. But then I saw these and I was like, okay, you'll do. So these look like they're basically they're like double, maybe even triple layered. They're very, very fluffy. Like if I just show you guys there, you can kind of see how fluffy they are. So I'm gonna do my usual and I'm gonna snip off quite a bit of these cause they are quite big. Okay, and I think I'm gonna take off about a centimeter or so. Yeah, and just turn them into little corner lashes. Pop a bit of my glue on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna give those a little shake. Okay, I'm really bad at putting on lashes. So this is gonna be fun in the macro. Okay, you ready? Ready to watch me fail? It's even harder when I've got my lash lift as well because I have to kind of like hook them under. Definitely need to give them a squish. These lashes are intense, man. I'm gonna leave them for a second just so they like properly kind of glue to my eyeball and then I'll give them a proper squish. Yeah, right now they are very intense. Like very nice lashes, quite easy to apply, but yeah, they're, they're just a lot for me. So I need to just kind of get used to them. All right, be right back. Just gonna do the other eye and then I'll check back with you guys and we'll do the base. All right, eyes are on. I look mental right now. Yeah, I th the, la the, hmm. the lashes are really nice. Like, they're really easy to apply. I really like the band. They're quite like wiggly. And the quality of the lashes is really, really good. These are just a bit intense on me. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop one that I used in a previous video. It's a no filter foundation. I've already like primed my skin and everything. I just put a little bit of my moisturizer on. So I'm just going to pop that on my skin and just buff all of that in. I'm probably not gonna do like a full like base tutorial or anything. I'm just gonna pop some of this on. And then I also have my Fenty concealer. They very kindly sent me a new one and I was just like, hmm, haven't used that in a while. So yeah, I'm just going to pop all that 
on my skin, add a bit of concealer, might do a tiny little bit of contouring depending on how kind of matches with my skin. And then yeah, we'll um, try out the powder. Very excited about that. So yeah, be right back. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be beige. All right, so now the bit that I am most excited for is of course the powder. So this is called the Soft Focus Loose Powder. I have it in translucent. By the way, if you guys are wondering about my base, like I said, it is the ColourPop foundation and then I use the Fenty concealer. I like the combination. It's not my favorite. I feel like on a few areas, it just kind of looks a little bit dry, but we'll see how it looks a little bit later. So this is what the powder looks like. Very nice packaging. And inside you get nine grams. Okay, let's see what this little pulley thing's like. Okay, the pulley thing's decent. Like I can actually kind of get to it, which is good. It's got like a kind of yellow undertone to it. Okay, moment of truth. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a, what are you called? You are the Kit Star Shaping Veil Brush. Just like one of those kind of dome brushes that I like to use. I'm just gonna make sure my under eyes are all blended out there. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, that looks pretty good. That doesn't look dry or anything at all. And the Fenty concealer isn't like the most hydrating thing in the world, but that actually looks decent. You guys can kind of see the little before and after there. So far, so good. Okay, I'm getting excited now. Why is it when I get excited or I talk about something that I love, I end up using like this claw. I'm like, I'm excited. Can't wait to try that. I'm gonna end up with like arthritis one day and my hands just gonna be stuck like that for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be like a little T-Rex. Anyway, okay, I'm now gonna take a whole load more of that powder and just tap off the excess on my wrist and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Okay, this looks a bit more matte than I'm used to. Looks a little bit cakey kind of like around here, but I do have a few spots that have been squeezing so but for under eyes, very, very nice. Like as long as this doesn't crease and everything, it's really bloody good for your under eyes. It does really blur out your skin though. Literally just the only thing kind of throwing me off is like the way that it's kind of sat on my chin, excuse a couple of spots and stuff. I can't help it. I just like squeezing my face. Okay, this powder, all of this, like the rest, all of my face basically, apart from my mouth, I literally think this is like a nine out of 10 powder. I do see the hype with this. I need to try it out a few more times. I will let you guys know. I'm sure by the time this video has gone up, I will have tried this out a few more times. So again, I will let you know down below. It's bloody good though. Like it is bloody good. I just need to kind of see how it works and my skin's not doing this. But like if we ignore this and we just look at the rest of my face, like it literally looks flawless. So now I'm gonna move on to bronzer. As you can see, this one's feeling a little bit sorry for himself. It's the Winky Lux one. I do need to get this one properly pressed again. I'm just gonna tap the excess of that on my hand and just bronze up my cheeks. It's such a good bronzer. Why did you have to break on me? Look, it's such a nice bronzer. I featured this in a first impressions as well and I really liked it and it's honestly become like, I wouldn't say it's 100% beaten Too Faced chocolate bronzer, but it's pretty up there. Then I'm gonna go in with this very famous blusher. Nick Tutorials has rated this. So like if it's good enough for Nikki, it's good enough for me. So this is called the Self Made Blusher in a very nice neutral shade. I've already dinged it with my brush on, like why am I allowed nice things? So I'm gonna take a touch of that and bring that onto my cheeks. This literally looks like my kind of blusher because it's so like neutral. Like it's literally, it's not even far off of my actual skin tone right now. So hopefully this will just add like just a nice little glow as opposed to like a pink stripe on my face. Just based on the color alone, like I feel like I can just keep adding and adding with this and it's not gonna look over the top. Like I don't even remember the last time I wore this much blusher, but it doesn't even look intense or anything. Like, okay, like what the hell, Holly? You have literally made me fall in love with a blusher? What? Oh, I love that. Okay, that's a new fave. That's going straight in my bloody makeup bag. So now I'm gonna add some highlighter, of course, Rodeo Drive. I do have a discount code for Ofra, like this video isn't sponsored by them or anything, but I do have a discount code if you guys do wanna get some money off. So I'll put that on screen now. Like, look at this shit. It's great. Honestly, if you haven't tried out Ofra highlighters, what are you doing? Like, if you think you found your ride or die highlighter, you haven't, I'm telling you. Ofra will have your ride or die highlighter. It's just, there are no words. So I'm gonna do a little bit on my cupid's bow 
And then I just dust some right down the center of my nose here. And then a little bit on my nose. Just, just look at it, it's mental. And then I just like to go back over with my powder brush just to kind of blend out any edges. I was wondering why the hell I look so weird then and then I realized I hadn't done my under eyes. So then I'm gonna go back in with that shade called Reef for my under eyes. Just gonna pick that up on the corner of a brush and just feather that underneath. Oh, so good. Like I know a lot of you have already heard and probably already own a lot of her products and I know she doesn't need me to promo her stuff or anything because I'm sure she's doing well enough by herself. But if you haven't tried out some of these products, you are sleeping on them. I'm not even just saying that because she's like a fellow YouTuber or whatever, but these products are fucking good, man. Look at that green on my under eye. You know what, that powder's now settling around my mouth a little bit and I'm liking it even more. Okay, bit more mascara. This blush looks, oh my God, this blusher, I swear to God, I have never been so impressed by a freaking blusher. It's freaking bats, I love Halloween. Okay, now that I've got my lower lashes on, I mean, I do look a little bit like a clown, but I kind of live for that. What do you guys think? I'm really kind of digging this eye makeup. I'm really kind of digging all of it, to be honest, like even down to the freaking blusher. I honestly don't understand why it's taken me so long to find a blusher like this, and all it took was something that was basically just a little bit more peachy than my own skin tone. I know it's like, it's not the easiest thing to get me excited. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, yes, slay. But, yes, slay. This blush is sick. Oh, mm. All right, so now I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows using my Cabral from Benefit. This is the little mini one that I've got here and it's in the shade 4.5. So I'm gonna take some of that and I just like to put it either on the back of my hand or on the lids. Obviously I know I have my brows microbladed and I feel like they're looking pretty good at the moment, but I do just wanna kind of like oomph them up a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure that the brush is super kind of flat and squished so I can get a really sharp line. And I'm just gonna fill in a couple of little hairs around here. Like, can you see how fine that is? And then I'll do the same just through these little bits. I'm basically going over what Rach did with my brows, but obviously I've gone over it with concealer and powder and stuff. So I'm just filling that in. This is probably my favorite pomade to use, to be honest, because it does still look quite natural. It's not like overly thick and intense. I can just kind of just extend my brow a bit there and then obviously lift it at the arch. And then anything at the front here, I'll just kind of feather that upwards. Look at that. I barely had to do anything and I barely put any product in my brows. It just, just does something to it. And I can do it so quick, like when I'm not talking and when I'm not trying to show you guys how I do it. I can do it so fast. Let me know if you guys want like an updated brow routine or anything, cause I can definitely do that. I feel like my brows have gone through a lot over the years. And if I do say so myself, like if I'm allowed to hype myself up a little bit here, I think my brows are looking pretty decent at the moment. So yeah, let me know if you want me to kind of give you all a rundown on what I've been using. Then just to set them in place, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Gimme Brow Plus. This one is in shade four, just to define them a little bit more. Give them a bit more texture, even though my brows definitely aren't lacking texture. I pulled out an inch long eyebrow hair the other day and I'm not even exaggerating. It was literally about an inch. So yeah, I'll leave a link to those two down below as well as everything else that I'm using. Now we're gonna go on to the lips. So like I said, I have a, which one is this? I'm guessing this is a liquid lipstick or it's the gloss, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the gloss here. Smell nice, they just kind of smell like, almost like vanilla mixed with car air freshener but it's nice. And then I'm guessing this will be the liquid lipstick. So this one here is in the shade Obsessed. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this sheet. Oh, it's like a really thin consistency. Hello. Okay, so we've got a flat doe foot, which is what I love to see. I love a flat little doe foot. And I'm gonna fill in, oh, it looks like this first. Oh, that's a good nude. Okay. So I'm just gonna fill in my lips like so. Seriously, it smells like vanilla mixed with like it's like a combination of a car air freshener, but also like Tom Ford. Okay, I'm not normally a liquid lipstick kind of girl, especially for a nude, because I do just tend to prefer using like a liner and a lipstick. However, as long as this doesn't crumble or anything on my lips, this is a, like, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here with everything, but this is really good. It's like really thin in consistency, but it's opaque. 
Seems to be drying down quite quickly, but not too quickly, so it's not going thick or anything on the lips. And that's a nice color. Like, that is a me kind of nude. <gasps> oh, now I have hiccups. So then, even though I don't want to, like, I do want to, I do want to try this out, but I'm also really enjoying how my lips look right now. I'm going to try a little bit of the lip gloss, so this one here is in the shade Stop It. And I'm going to do a tiny bit of that in the middle. Mmm. Ooh, okay. And then I'll just tap that in just slightly. Mmm. I'm sorry, but these products are really great. I actually really rate everything. Like, the blush is... Oh, just never thought I would like a blush so much. The powder, like I said, I love it everywhere, like, apart from my mouth. But even saying that, like, now it's kind of meshed into my skin a little bit and almost kind of, like, been soaked up by the foundation a bit. It is looking a lot better. Um... Overall, very impressed. Like, what the hell, Holly? Like, your product's sick. And even the lashes, even though I wasn't keen on them at first, because you guys know I never really do my eye makeup first, so when I do, I'm like, like, what am I doing? But now I've got it all on my face. Like, the eyeshadow is insane. They are such pigmented colours. Lashes are really nice. I will keep my eyes posted for those more natural ones that I mentioned that were out of stock because I do really want to try them. Gloss seems really nice. I know they're kind of a little bit wasted on me because I do tend to prefer a matte lip, but I do know a nice gloss when I see one and this one seems really, really comfortable on the lips. Not too pigmented either. Like, obviously, it looks kind of pinky in the tube, but it's like, it's not too pigmented, which I like. Holly, mate, like, I'd say that as if we know each other. I've never met the girl, but, like, she's my mate now because she's made me fall in love with a freaking blush. Yeah, I literally recommend everything. If there's something you're kind of, like, umming and eyeing about, the lip products are really, really good. The eyeshadow palette is... And then don't get me started on this freaking blush. Like, get it. Even if you don't like blush, you will probably like this. So, yeah. Woo! So, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried out any of the HMB Cosmetics products. Whatever else Holly's got tucked up her sleeve for new launches and stuff, um, I'm gonna buy them because, yeah, your products are sick, mate. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time, as you all know. As some of you might not know, I am now streaming on Twitch. Like, I'm literally about to go and do a live stream any minute now. So if you like games, if you just like chatting, like if you like getting involved with like my Instagram lives and stuff, you might like it over on Twitch. So if you do want to head on over there, you can follow me, we can hang out. I'm going to try and do a few live streams a week. So yeah, I'll be sure to leave links to that down below. Would love to see you there. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up. I know I've already said that shit, but give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I've like lost my train of thought. Apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one or the next live stream or wherever. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Love you.